What is it? A new tube! A new tube? What is the tube for? For the wooden it's toilet! For the wooden toilet! Open this up. That's what I'm looking for right there. There it is. Is it's that for the pee pee? Yep, that's for the pee pee. <laughs> Before I start getting into making a composting toilet, let me introduce you to the toilet that came with our RV. There's several problems that we've discovered with this toilet. Pedal flusher gasket is bad, so it drips whenever we flush it. That's why we have just a nice little Tupperware under there. Now you can tell the seal is good because it actually holds the water in it. It's not leaking down and emptying. But Sometimes when the kids flush, it doesn't close all the way. So see, there's a little gap there. If that stays open, the smell from the black tank starts to seep out, especially if you leave the lid open. But I think the reason they let it up gently is because in the past when they've let it up super fast, it's actually splashed water up at them. So those are the problems with our RV toilet. So my idea was to have basically this with some hinges so you can open up the whole thing and underneath would be the bucket and the jug for the uh, waste. Making our own toilet. Yeah. We're gonna try it out. <laughs> <laughs> So yesterday, disaster struck. I was just casually walking along next to the RV here, and I look over and see water just pouring out from behind the wheel there. So I ran into the camper to the bathroom, and sure enough, water was just flooding out of the toilet onto the ground. So remember how I said, like, the pedal gets stuck sometimes on the toilet? That's what happened. It was stuck in the flush position. The black tank was totally full and overflowing. We did a lot of cleaning up, but it was this great confirmation that we need to get rid of that thing. seat and in the front you have the urine diverter in the back you have your bucket see and this whole thing lifts up so you can access the bottom the tube goes into right now we just are using a one gallon jug and that is just a trash lined five gallon bucket I'm still waiting for the wood shavings that we're going to use in there. I'm really excited to try this out. Nat is about to use the bucket. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> so now I'm going to flush with wood chips. Last time I did this was when I was about 10 years old and I had a hamster. I have no idea how much you're supposed to put in there. That's enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's a first. There are a few adjustments I want to make. One thing I did not like is that I had the urine diverter attached to the top. Every time I closed it, I had to get the tube back into the jug. I'm going to try using it the way it was originally intended, it, intended to be used, which is mounted directly on the bucket. For that to work, I wanted to elevate it off the ground just an inch and a half so that there's not a big gap right here. These boards, which were on the sides there, I laid them flat instead of upright and put them in the middle so that when I put the bucket in here, the bucket's wet because I was in the rain when I was working on this. That's why I'm in the camper is because it started downpouring. We'll have the bucket supported an inch and a half here. The diverter will be on the bucket. When I have this here, I can close this and ta-da! So I had a little problem with the toilet this morning. Yeah, it was not good. Unbeknownst to me, the urine jug had tipped a little bit and the tube was no longer 
in the jug. So when I went to the bathroom this morning, it was going into the tube, but not into the jug. So I had a little bit of cleanup to do. So I am about to do a completely different design because I'm sick of this. I found a bottle that I thought would work. It's a detergent bottle. A new five gallon bucket and I cut the right size hole there. So the diverter fits very nicely on there. When this bucket is elevated on those boards, it is the perfect height for this bottle. Plus, if it's standing upright like this, I'm not as scared of sloshing around. If it was sideways, all the jiggling, I would be afraid of pee sloshing out there. Time for a new design. It's a beautiful new toilet. I love our new composting toilet. Yeah, me too! You too? Yeah! Do you use it all by yourself? Yeah. This morning, I just emptied it out. It all does not smell that bad. In fact, compared with the smell of the black tank coming up previously, it actually smells fresher than that. And we don't even have the fan, any fan running at all. I am so pleased with how the kids have adjusted to it. Kids are so adaptable, it's amazing. And we've adapted to it as well. And it's only been a few days, but it is so much nicer than having to find a dump station and drive there and dump it out, possibly pay to use it. This is so much better. So now that we don't have a black tank anymore, all we have to dump out is our gray tank. And gray water is pretty clean. It has some soap from the kitchen sink, maybe some toothpaste from the bathroom sink, shampoo from the shower. So I still have my gray tank valve, my black tank valve, and then I have this extra valve to block this off. So I can join the gray tank and the black tank together. And I just have this hose coming out and it is just going to the grass. That means we are so set up for boondocking. So the question is, why didn't I just buy a composting toilet? There's a couple of very good options out there. There's the nature's head composting toilet and the Airhead composting toilet, Airhead, haha. <laughs> I thought about it. Every month we have a budget meeting. This month we budgeted $1,000. I could have used that entire $1,000, but I thought, what if I stayed under $200 to make a composting toilet? Well, then we still have $800 budgeted for the RV. I could also get a bike rack. I could get a portable solar panel. I could get an antenna for our mobile internet. Not only did I save a lot of money by doing this, there's something very cool about having a custom made thing that I made in our RV. It's very cool. Are you taking a picture or are you taking a video? <laughs> 